War is hell no matter what war you're in. First kill is the worst, because you never forget it. Well, we saw dead bodies all over the beach there, and... You hear the tinks, the zips, the pops as, as you're going. The sights, the sounds, the smells will stick with me forever. I'm waking up to a guy that's trying to stab me. But when you have somebody dying in front of you, and you have their last words, it's hard. Depression, post-traumatic stress, uh, TBI, they're invisible to most, but they're, they're pretty darn real. My name is Cynthia, and I have PTSD. And I've had PTSD since 1967. The age really makes no difference. It can be a young person just coming out of the service, or it can be somebody from a war of many, many years ago. I was very angry, I was depressed. I don't like large, large crowds of people. Yes, I do have survivor's guilt. You're not gonna meet many veterans who sleep well. One of the issues with veterans with PTSD is self-medicating, either with prescription drugs or alcohol. I don't think we fully understand yet how big the PTSD problem is. It's a tragedy whenever any veteran takes their own life. I was at the choice line, and that's a choice of do I wanna keep living or not? there are organic changes in the brain that are so severe that they prevent the person from uh, thinking clearly. I still think about suicide. I've been where they all are, ready to jump in the river. And so I grabbed my combat knife that I had and cut a hole in my arm and slashed part of, tried to slash part of my artery. My childhood friend, uh, Major John Francis Ruaco, I died by suicide in 2005. My good friend in the battalion with me, he committed suicide, so he's gone. And I'm sorry to say there's a lot of other veterans that are looking at the same thing. If you're going through severe trauma, you need to talk about it because that starts the healing. Please go and ask for help. I know we're the tough guys, right? And I was for 39 years. It almost killed me playing the tough guy. I say there is hope. Veterans are some of the most adaptable, flexible, resilient people that I have ever met. People tell you, don't lose hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And I used to never believe that. But now I know there is. I'm convinced I'm going to get over mine. Smile, because you're still alive. And every day above ground is a good day. I don't want to die. I don't want to commit suicide anymore. I don't want to let the past be my definition of my future anymore.